guys, Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to find the Laplace transform of a function using the definition of the Laplace transform. So the definition of the Laplace transform tells us that the Laplace transform of a function f of t is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative st times f of t dt, where this s here is a constant. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. In our first example here, we have the Laplace transform of the function e to the negative 2t. And so let's go ahead and start out by plugging in this e to the negative 2t in for f of t in our definition here. So we end up with the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative st times e to the negative 2t dt. And so here, because we have a common base, we have two exponential functions multiplied together, we can add the powers together. So we end up with the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative st minus 2t dt. And let's go ahead and factor out a negative sign and a t from the power. So we have the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative s plus 2 times t dt. And now let's go ahead and integrate this so we end up with the following. Negative 1 over s plus 2 e to the negative s plus 2t evaluated at 0 and infinity. So now let's go ahead and plug in our upper and lower bound. So if we take infinity and take the limit of this function here as t approaches infinity, this exponential term is going to decay to 0. So our first term is going to be 0. And then we're going to have minus. And then plugging in the 0 here, we can see that this term here just becomes e to the 0, which is equal to 1. So we have negative 1 over s plus 2 times 1. So we're just left with minus 1 over s plus 2. And we have minus a negative sign, so this is just becomes plus, and we end up with 1 over s plus 2. And that is our final answer. So let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. So in this next example here, we have the Laplace transform of the function 1. So let's go ahead and plug in 1 for f of t in this integral here. So we have the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative st times 1 dt. And so e to the negative st times 1 is just equal to e to the negative st. So we can go ahead and rewrite this integral as the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative st dt. And now we can go ahead and take its integral. So integrating this, we end up with negative 1 over s e to the negative st evaluated at infinity and 0. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our upper and lower bound. So if we take the limit of this function here as t approaches infinity, this exponential function is getting smaller and smaller and it's approaching 0. So our first term is going to be 0. Okay, and then we're going to have minus. And now let's go ahead and take a look at what happens to this function here when we plug in 0 for t. So if we plug in 0 for t, this is just going to be e to the 0, which is going to be 1. So we're left with negative 1 over s. So we have 0 minus negative 1 over s. And we have minus negative signs, so that just becomes a plus. And so we get 1 over s. And that is our final answer. And so that is how you find the Laplace transform of a function using the definition of the Laplace transform. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.